what's up y'all so this is the closet tour and i actually wanted to film this a while ago or it's a video i've been planning for a while but unfortunately i don't have anybody else to man the camera and i kind of wanted to have somebody else man the camera and i could be in front of it and kind of like show off the pieces maybe a little bit better or that was the plan but i feel like the time has come a lot of people are always like yo show off your revenge collection show off this collection um and you guys will see my revenge collection, which really isn't much. So if that's the reason you click the video, might as well do it. But I have everything else in the video. So also I'm out here in the honor of Novembach representing. All right, so here we are with the main portion we'll have to show off. Um, first off, we got all the button ups, just a bunch of garbage over here. Thrifted corduroy, pretty cheap. Got a Carhartt work shirt that I actually used to use for a while. And I like the workwear aesthetic. It's got like a little scuzz on it, which gives it some authenticity um i don't know but yeah i like that and then got a thrifted flannel it's got a mandarin collar is what i think it's called there's like no actual collar it just comes around in buttons right around the neck you can kind of see there's no collar on it but yeah that's thrifted uh bay area traders is the brand but i really like the pattern on it and i didn't notice this until after i picked it up but let's see i think it's on this side oh, i must be on the other side uh the sleeve is ripped like right there on the other side which is kind of whack so i'll have to get that fixed moving on on the flannels we got an asos oversized one and it's kind of got this wash that makes it look a little little vintage or used kind of nice uh, once again big fan of the flannel pattern got this maroon and green plaid got thrifted hawaiian shirt everybody needs to have at least one hawaiian shirt in the collection and got some packs on button ups these ones are actually pretty old i think on the bias was kind of what they started off. I think they had on the bias bullhead and now they're just packs on brand. But I like the color on this one, pretty simple, just maroon flannel with some black accents. And moving on, just got another packs on one. This one's kind of cool though. If we look at the bottom, get this out down here. The bottoms have some zippers, which I think is kind of cool. If you wear like suspenders, you can have the back hang out, just like tuck half of it, which is kind of an interesting look but cool piece i got a super light hoodie here i think it's yeah rain and storm i don't even know if they're still in business but what i like to do with this one is since the hood is super thin like you guys can see through it a little bit i think on the video you should be able to see um but i like to put this up and then put a beanie over it very long though and it's got the uh, scallop bottom where it kind of comes up on the sides and then is long in the center uh long sleeve adidas shirt red red is my favorite color so you guys probably see a lot of it another base layer here and just a fruit of the loom thermal um old snowboarding crew neck and this is dc it's got a nice little chest pocket um people hate on dc somewhat or they used to but i think they're making a comeback with their ftp stuff and i don't know i, I still kind of like them got to represent a little bit iowa computer science and let's see got another plain shirt Another Iowa computer science one, just red this time. I actually picked this one up super recent, and when I was younger, I really wanted to get one of these, but I had no money. So not too long ago, I went on a skate shop website and picked up this Baker one because I'm a big fan of Ace Ventura. And if you guys don't know, that's a scene from it where he <laughs> crawls out of the butt of a uh, mechanical rhino. So yeah, I saw that one. I was like, oh, that's pretty dope. I gotta get that, and then. I've always wanted a girl shirt, so I picked that up too. Got a couple Cause um, Sesame Street collaboration pieces. I got this one in a size large. If you guys don't know, a lot of the time when I pick up white shirts, especially if they're cheap, I'll do two sizes. We got a large here and this one. This was actually my favorite design from the collaboration. Um, so I got this one in large and then also I think put it, yeah, I put it right behind it, XL also. So I can kind of like thrash one and not worry about getting stained but yeah this is the primitive naruto collection if you guys didn't see that video i went up like a week or two ago so you can check out that unboxing i go over the details and whatnot i actually haven't worn this one yet i've worn the other ones but i was really happy with this collaboration that was cool prices weren't bad got the kakashi one here big kakashi logo on the back and then my other naruto shirt which is from paxon and then shout out anybody who knows what this is if you guys know what this is Put it in the comments i'll like pin it or something but yeah this one isn't like 
a jersey jersey. It's just a t-shirt with the numbers on it. But this is for Devin Hester when he was on the Atlanta Falcons. I'm pretty sure he's retired now. And he actually only spent a little bit of time there. But I'm a big Devin Hester fan. If you guys don't know who that is, he was a crazy kick returner, punt returner, just all around special teams dude who had some crazy returns. So I'm a fan of that. Not necessarily a fan of Falcons, just love to watch this guy play. As you guys can see, I have way too many clothes. This is kind of a cool piece I don't really wear a whole lot. Uh, another on one, I'm not sure what it is, bullhead or something like that, but basically you have this bandana pattern embroidered along the top and it's just a long sleeve in black. Pretty quiet piece with some cool detailing and like no branding, so I think it's a cool piece. Got the black Steve Jobs turtleneck. <laughs> One of my homies brands, the uh, Cold North. I actually did some promo videos for him like a year or two ago, so I'll put those in the description or one of them in the description. I actually had a lot of fun with that. So as you guys know, I have the cat hat, but I also have the cat t-shirts. If you guys don't know what cat is, it's short for Caterpillar and they have a bunch of like heavy machinery, um, like back hose and stuff like that. But I really like this. These were actually like 10 or 11 bucks, I think. And they came in a couple different colorways. I got the black one and the yellow one. You can see on the back, you got the big brand and then it is a pocket on the front. Yellow one's a little bit different. You have the just all the same color logo instead of this one, you have the white and then the orange. But yeah, I was pretty happy with them. I like the style of these where it's kind of um, the cutoff without being like a tank top. That being said, we have a custom cutoff here made out of a Travis Mills merch shirt we have a steve aoki tank top this is actually printed off center too it's hard to tell with it hanging up but yeah definitely off center got a bin trill shirt which asap rocky actually used to shout out back in the day or rock some bin trill another old steve aoki merch shirt and <laughs> travis mills merch got the middle finger and i like this one but it doesn't have a whole lot of wearability it's like maybe if i go out, i'll throw this on but if i'm heading to the grocery store Going to work, definitely can't wear this one. <laughs> Ray Shremmer shirt, you got the Shrem Life SL, Dead Roses, and then on the sleeves also they have Shrem Life, which I think is cool. I'm a huge Ray Shremmer fan. Shrem Life 1, 2, even 3. I like them all. Got a custom stroke shirt, and obviously, like you can tell how fresh this is, it isn't a vintage shirt, it's just kind of distressed and then has that bleach to make it look a little old, but yeah, big strokes fan. More so, big fan of Julian Casablancas. If you ever heard Instant Crush by Daft Punk, crazy song. So this is actually kind of what made me want to buy those cat cutoffs. So this one I got from ASOS, and it's not actually like a real tour tee, I don't think. It's just kind of made to look like one. You have Until the End, and then a skeleton holding up a flower. You got some more stuff going on the bottom. Some like fake tour dates and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I really like this one. I really like the fit of it and it's like a super light material and the way that's washed makes it look super vintage. Letters crack a little bit, but still stay on there perfectly. So I don't know. I, I really like this tee. Fit of it, super comfortable. But yeah, that's kind of what made me want to go after those um, cutoffs instead of the tank tops. Got a Civil Regime shirt, which kind of does a play on the uh, Honda wing right there. And then on the back, which is the reason I got it, you'll see crazy pegasus with some lightning bolts it says hellbent racing just i don't know i thought that was very cool civil is more towards like mall core but i mean i don't know i like that <laughs> uh black bear shirt not too crazy about this one it also came with like the print all messed up but yeah got a van shirt 10 deep another 10 deep on the back you got a, a girl chilling in a purple skull with 10 deep on the top 10 deep on the front, got some stuff, no idea what it says, something about 10 deep. <laughs> Elise or Elise, I'm not too sure how you pronounce this, but I like the mock neck. I'm a big fan of mock necks and turtlenecks, especially collars that have branding on it, I think are really cool. Um, there were a couple Supreme long sleeves that had branding on the neck. They weren't necessarily mock necks, I think they're just long sleeves, but I thought those were really cool. And you got the little logo on the chest. All right, so we are getting into my more hyped stuff. I wouldn't necessarily say that this is hyped, but this is the Revenge Stokely collaboration, sort of. It isn't technically a Revenge collaboration, but uh, I think Steven did make this design for him, which this was by far my favorite one. You got Jason, obviously wearing the ski mask. Ski mask is slump god, so it fits in, but yeah, I thought this was a dope design. Moving on, we have 
the killer and supreme collaboration if you don't know what the killer is it is a chinese movie i believe uh, made by john Wu about an assassin or a hitman and yeah john Wu also famous for the movie face off with uh nick cage and john travolta and then on the back i also really like this they have this spell out which you guys can pause and read if you want um, i think that's pretty cool uh, i picked this tee up i also did an unboxing on this one heaven and earth supreme it was from this season fall winter 19 and i kind of just wanted to get some other stuff and this was in stock and the seasonal tees are pretty cheap so i figured i just grabbed that while i was there so it's an anti-social flannel you can see back there they have like a bleach all over it and i really like it gives it a cool like distressed look it's very soft definitely has an oversized fit like the sleeves are very long but i love that in my flannels and then on the back you got the big logo um but that being said very poor quality on this and i think it was like 80 or 88 dollars so be warned with antisocial they got mix a mix of quality so here's probably one of my favorite supreme pieces i have this is the supreme akira collaboration you have supreme spelled out and obviously akira on the front and you go to the back and you got the neo tokyo explosion from akira or akira however you guys want to pronounce it if you are sticklers about that this is the palace jobsworth i think it was called um this came out this summer early this summer maybe late spring not exactly sure but i was a big fan of this it's a flip on the mac logo the old one and on the back you just got the same thing like they do with a lot of their triford pieces uh, so moving on we got a revenge shirt you can see you got the puff print that revenge is well known for i want to say this is the vediments logo um but i don't know if that's what they also call the t-shirt but yeah just black t-shirt with that logo on it got a burberry v-neck which i don't wear v-necks too much but this is a nice classy one to wear to the office trojan carhartt whip and I'm a big Carhartt Whip fan, as you guys will see once we get into some of my other pieces. I really like the sleeves on this. On one side, you have these like boxes with the branding just continuing. And then on the other side, you have a cool little airplane flying from continent to continent. Now you may be wondering why Trojan Condoms is collaborating with Carhartt, but that is not the case. It's actually Trojan Records. And you got big boss sounds across the back very cool shirt kind of makes it hard since it's white to wear because i'm kind of scared to stain it and then also trojan even though it is trojan records a lot of people probably think trojan condoms so can't wear this one to the office either uh, moving on we got more supreme got the supreme hellraiser shirt if you guys haven't seen hellraiser you're not really missing out it's not that great <laughs> um but i really like the back on this one hell on earth spell out which is pretty cool and then the rest of the stuff hanging up is just pretty much basics. Um, a thrifted Reebok shirt. Shout out, Novembach. Get to go up top now. So up top, we have the Carhartt and I forgot what this is called. I think this was like the Roslyn polo or something like that. But yeah, basically just a Where's Waldo polo, rugby polo, whatever. And you got the Carhartt Whip badge right here. Moving on to more of my Carhartt Whip collection. Got this beautiful Carhartt Whip jersey and it's supposed to be like a football or soccer jersey, whatever you guys want to call that. Big Carhartt spell out, Carhartt logo, and then USA flag with a tiny Carhartt logo. Nothing on the back, but very nice jersey material. And yeah, I was a fan. All right, so here's the rest of my revenge stuff, just chilling up here. We have the revenge arc logo crew neck and crazy embroidery on this, but a lot of people did have issues. Um, only issue on mine is the top of the N right here. You can probably see it a little bit has a white thread, which not sure why that happened. Maybe like end of the spool or something. So my next revenge piece, the motion logo long sleeve in gray or whatever, I forgot what color they called this, but I really like this. And this is actually why I got into revenge for these motion logo long sleeves. I really like them. And then across the sleeve, you have revenge is in the creator's hand. But yeah, if you guys are wondering, just revenge and that is the motion logo. Quality isn't crazy on this. It's super thin. You can tell like just how much it's stretching and just holding it. Um, might be able to, yeah, you can probably see through that. Screen print feels pretty bad. Like I haven't washed this yet, but I feel like if I did, I'd probably lose a couple letters or parts of the letters. So I've had this one for a while now. One of my older Supreme pieces. Not sure what season it's from, but not too crazy on Champion, but I really like when Supreme 
does this spell out and you got the like arc supreme kind of like an athletic spell out across the back and nice little champion branding on the collar but i like this pretty thin um i guess like 158 which is pretty reasonable for their track jackets so this is actually the first supreme piece i bought and you got supreme going all the way along the sleeves still one of my favorite pieces i think it's so cool and it is a knit very high quality i'll try to zoom in yeah you can see the knit also a big reason i don't hang a lot of these is because if you put a knit like this on a hanger it'll distort it along the shoulders right here because you have all the weight just pulling down so if you do get a piece like that be sure to just fold it and store it somewhere else, maybe like in a dresser or something. Or in my case, just toss it in a bag on the top of a shelf so it doesn't get dirty. So I still have more stuff up here to go through. A little bit of it fell down, but these are like the vintage thrifted Earl's Grailed vintage buys. And right here we have the Articat racing jersey. Um, very cool. When I was little, I actually had a kitty cat, which is like a tiny Articat that I used to race on, which is kind of cool, but yeah cool logo branding down the sleeves and I really like it also on the back you have the Articat racing no logos on the top across the shoulder blades though um, well that's the front uh, there we go there's the back <laughs> mock neck which goes up a little bit of the way not as far as a turtleneck would but still cool keeping with that same energy we have a super cross shirt and I think this one is from the 90s I think this is like 1994 I'm not too sure when the Articat shirt's from. But yeah, you got some branding on the top. You can see Coors Light over there. But yeah, I really like this one. I think it's pretty cool. Got some Supercross branding on the sleeve and then that crazy pattern that goes along it. Kind of reminds me of like the Dixie Cup pattern. And then on the back, it was a Supercross tour. So you got all the tour dates just like you would a band tee. I actually picked this Nike one up pretty recently. Has a swoosh embroidered right here. And then it is paneled or cut and sewn right here. And then on the back, you also have Nike embroidered up on the top. And I'm not sure if this is a bootleg. Kind of feels like something that would be a bootleg. Or else just like late 90s, early 2000 Nike. But very high quality, thicker material, the cut and sew embroidery. Um, thing costs like five bucks. <laughs> so next up for this closet, you have a Mummy Returns vintage shirt. And I forget the year this is from. I want to say early 2000s, like 2004 or something but you also have some Panasonic branding and then Fry's Electronics. And if you guys do not know the Mummy trilogy, Brendan Fraser just killed it. Brendan Fraser, big fan. All right, so here we are at the next closet and the lighting in here is kind of trash because there is no light bulb in the top, but I'll just try to go through this quick. We have a Carhartt Whip. I think this was called the Salinic jacket and it's just basically a thicker denim shirt, um, but it's a shacket. So shirt jacket, if you don't know what that means. Uh, just some regular Paxson bomber, pretty old. You see the tag is kind of thrashed. Got a Tommy Hilfiger corduroy jacket, pretty oversized in my opinion. Uh, I was kind of hoping that wouldn't be too oversized, but I still think it works good. First time I wore, I got a compliment, so must look all right. <laughs> but you have this Tommy flag on the sleeve over here. But other than that, just no branding, pretty subtle. Nice, thick corduroy, pretty smooth. I'm not sure how well you guys can see that, but yeah. Here we have a palace sweater or sweatshirt. Not exactly sure what you guys want to call it, but you have just some basic palace London embroidery down there. The drawstrings are kind of cool. They also say palace. Kind of a different piece because of the mock neck, but I think it's really cool and I like this piece. Next up, we have some more Tommy. This time a Kith collaboration, which came out I believe last fall winter was when it was. You have a Tommy Kith flag right here on the sleeve. And on the back, they just follow that same energy of the front with the color blocking and cutting. So here we have a palace. I think it was called the Tri-Fade Hoodie. And if you guys can't tell, they're a bunch of tiny little dots and they get smaller as you go down, giving it this gradient look, hence the fade. But you just have the palace branding down here. And then of course, with a lot of palace items, you get the Big triferg on the back, but it kind of blends in because of the dots. It kind of plays into that, but I think it's pretty cool. Also, what would a wardrobe be without a Levi's trucker jacket? I think this is only like 40 bucks or maybe even less. Like if you guys don't have a Levi's trucker jacket, I don't know, man. Got some old snowboarding hoodie, just kind of like a good base layer. Another old snowboarding hoodie that I, another old hoodie I used for snowboarding. You got the 
Neff Dead Mouse collaboration. Pretty cool graphic. I think it aged well personally. But yeah, I don't want to touch this too much just because the material is super loud. But this is a Tommy Hill figure, kind of like Windbreaker Parka. Got you looking like the mailman with these stripes. And then of course another essential piece. You gotta have the overcoat. I went with guess. <laughs> And then the last jacket I have is the Supreme Floral Trench, which is probably my all-time grail. And I just picked it up recently, did a video on that also that you guys can find on the channel. Maybe I'll throw it in the description if I'm feeling ambitious, but I really like this one. It does have an oversized fit or kind of like a more baggy fit, I guess I would say. Not oversized, but I love the pattern on it and I think it's a dope piece. Moving upward, we have shoes. These are just some old Adidas running shoes. The new Adidas Alpha Bounce running shoes, which I did an unboxing on. It's crazy that that video just keeps getting views. <laughs> Moving over though, we have the Nike Daybreak, which I really like these ones. These are kind of like some of my daily shoes. These and then the Reebok Workout Plus MTV 1986, 87, I think it is. Um, these kind of share the daily use and abuse for me. These are very comfortable, pretty hot for if you're rocking around in the summer, you can see how thick it is. But if that's the case, swap over to the Daybreaks because those are a very thin shoe. Speaking about Daybreaks, we got the Undercover Daybreak collaboration here, which kind of prompted me to buy the daily use and abuse day breaks I got there. Another item that I really like are these Nike SFBs and you can see these are pretty beat up. Um, the suede has definitely seen better days, got quite a few stains. These are actually special field boots, that's what the SFB stands for, and they're loud in the military, not like issued, I don't think. I think they issue like a cheap version of these, but you can see the little Nike swoosh down there, and I saw Shia wearing these. But yeah, I really like these, great for the winter. Um, they're not completely waterproof, you got these holes down here to let you breathe, but pretty water resistant if you're walking through the snow. Also have some white skate highs here, also just thrash you can see. <laughs> but moving upward, we got some Nike Air Up Tempos, the Scotty Pippins, and I don't remember what this colorway was. I think it was called In Your Face maybe. And then I have another pair in this box, I believe, which is the University Red, which is pretty much the same thing, but got red outlines. And then my last pair of shoes that I'm showing off is the Adidas Future Pacer. And I have a big light right next to me, so you guys are probably going to see the uh, 3M in full effect. So now we're going to look at some jeans. And I usually have these sorted, like, black jeans in one drawer and then blue in the other. But right now, not so much. Um, so first off, we have these Tommy Hilfiger jeans. And I was actually pretty surprised when I found these. Um, there's an outlet mall near to me. And I got these for, like super cheap but i like the a lot of the detailing on them and then also when you guys see the legs you'll see but yeah you got the tommy flag down there um some branding up there which not crazy about but it could be a lot worse <laughs> um tommy does brand some of their cheaper products kind of lamely i don't know where it takes away from the brand but you got the flag on the top of the uh like coin pocket up there too and then the legs actually have a Tommy Hilfiger spell out, which I think is really cool. So these are the Levi's 501 um, Fallen Leaves, I think it was called, but it was just the Justin Timberlake collaboration, and that came out around the time of his album, which I forget what it was called. Might be hard to tell from this angle, but it's like a bunch of weeds kind of making a uh, really light camo in the background. All right, so next up is another outlet mall find. And these are the Levi's Made and Crafted. You can see the tag on the back. Um, I'm not sure exactly what this part is called, the label, I don't know, the branding. But these, if you guys are familiar with Levi's, usually crazy expensive. Um, I believe these ones were made in Japan. Um, or they're like Japanese crafted is how they brand them um, or advertise them. And they usually retail for like hundred and like 40 or something around there but i think these only cost like 30 40 bucks um super nice the fit is a little weird on them um that's i think the dimensions are weird i forget what it was yeah so they're a 32 34 so they're pretty long um even for me being like 6 3 they're kind of long but i like them get the little rising sun right there but i thought they were cool another little detail on the back you have the levi's arches that they usually do 
but it's not stitched in or anything it's just kind of like embossed or debossed um, so it kind of just chills there very subtly all right so the rest of this drawer is just black jeans um, these ones are a little bit special they got a pocket on the side which you guys may have seen me rocking before um, in the revenge styling video I had those on some people asked um, then we have some just black skinny jeans um, I think these have distressed knee pockets um, all these are just like packs on denim or bullhead denim uh, more black jeans more black jeans the essentials <laughs> Uh, moving on to the next drawer then we have these um, which doesn't really pay to pull them out um, They're just some Levi's. They're not really a denim uh, more of like a cotton. It's kind of weird It's really soft for the fit for a lot of these. I've been trying to move towards um, Slim fit rather than skinny. Um, you can see like a lot of them are skinny, but just kind of trying to get away from that some uh, ass wash jeans, but yeah another one of the uh, pocket on the side you can see the zipper there um, I thought that was a cool style so ordered both colors but yeah that's pretty much it for the jeans maybe a little bit worth flexing I don't know but they're kind of dope they got the terry fabric super soft and comfortable and um, then the supreme spell on the side all right to wrap it up I figured I'd go over my accessories and I also have some socks but I didn't feel like including some washed socks because they don't look as great but first off, you have the Supreme, I think it's called the Big Logo Beanie, which is actually a cashmere blend, which feels pretty good on your head. But you can see, after a while of wearing it, you get these fuzzies, which I'm pretty sure just this type of material, there's not really any way to prevent it. I also got the classic Carhartt Beanie, not even Carhartt Whip. I've been thinking about, I've been toying with the idea of getting a Carhartt Whip um, beanie like this, but we'll see. Next up, if you guys aren't into scarves, you need to change your life and get some accessories because you can wear dope stuff like this the supreme polar tech spell out one um, if you guys don't know what polar tech is this is very smooth material very soft next up you have the infamous cat hat <laughs> which i wear in a lot of my videos and you guys call me out for it but yeah i love this one it's a trucker hat which you also see the one in the background trucker hat mainly because i have a really big head and these are the only ones or types of hat that do fit my massive dome <laughs> this next one is a supreme trucker hat though you got the supreme embroidery on the back and then on the front not a crazy design i just bought it because i wanted a supreme trucker um i actually had one before this and i lost it so <laughs> which is a funny story. Moving on, you can see in the background, I got some bandanas and I'm really a big supporter of bandanas. I think they're a cool accessory. This one is a palace one that came out actually quite a while ago, I think over two years ago probably, but you just have like the regular paisley bandana look and then palace spelt out along the border of it. And this was actually crazy expensive. I wanna say it was like 48 or like 58 bucks. And then I just have some regular bandanas for other outfits that don't match bright blue um she got black one and then a usa one which doesn't have much use actually just the black one <laughs> so to wrap it up we have the suspender collection and if you guys aren't into suspenders i understand like they are a different feeling like way different than wearing a belt but i think they're a really cool accessory and a good way to add a little extra flair to your outfit so first up these are just kind of like more dress ones almost you can see got leather straps a bunch of like silver buckles and then these are actually duluth trading co you can see the logo stamped in on the leather right there i'm actually from very close to them so i like to buy their suspenders and show some love to them Next up, you have another pair of Duluth Trading Co. suspenders. This time, a little bit different of a style. They both clip on the front um, and then do kind of like this cross along the back. And you can just see they have Duluth Trading Co. spelt out all along it in kind of like a skinnier font. And then last up, we have the H&M Moschino collaboration, which I think are pretty cool. Um, it's kind of hard to tell that they are Moschino because from one side of your body you're probably only gonna see like the s and downward but if you know you know and i think they're pretty dope i'm pretty happy with them and it was also very reasonably priced for most keynotes products i thought all around it was a pretty cool collaboration but yeah that pretty much wraps it up and thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the video <laughs> uh stay tuned for whatever i got coming up next and feel free to criticize my clothes and call me a scrub, complain about how much revenge I do not own. <laughs> um, actually, 
I gave away a lot of my revenge to my brother just because the sizing is kind of trash or the fit is kind of trash on a lot of revenge items. It's hard to tell what to wear, but that's about it.